Okay, not a shocker du jour. You know that I claim everything there is is biology, and some of the biology is staggeringly large. And asbestos, which uh, I can't remember the person's name. Uh, I can't remember, but they asked about asbestos, and I said it's tendon fibers, and it is. And it's very tough. Tendons are whoa. I'm going to show you all the details I have, and I have some very, very good details that show that this tendon is fiber, which is so fine, it's in the billions of meters. All right, this is how fine that fiber is. Way down at the bottom of these fibers, this is only. 1.5 billionths of a meter and there must be probably thousands in that one little spot because there's a whole bunch of them here and then it comes into a whole bunch of them there and then all these a whole bunch a whole bunch and it comes from the tendon but the tendon itself is tiny that tendon is not big it's not like one big huge rope that tendon is involved with a whole batch of other tendons you see this? This is the kind of stuff you get down to. A huge number of tendons investing themselves into a bone between the muscles so you can just do this. And there, there's just no blood hardly at all in them. This, this is what they call a synovial um, fluids, which are very, very slippery so that this can bend and do all those kind of things. There's almost no friction at all. But these are so tough, they just almost never go bad. They're, that's why asbestos became a problem because those fibers were so tiny you'd inhale them and you get asbestosis where it destroys your lungs. This is what a tendon is made out of. This is, this is not huge. That's small as it is. And then you break down into these, which break down into these, which break down into these, which break down into the collagen fibers. And you see the different colors? There's different collagens, and I think there's 28 different collagens, and some of them are real strong, and one of them stretchy, and other ones, all kinds of different material, uh, you know, strength to them and so forth. How they bend and how they weave and all of that stuff. Because that is the integrity of your body is from the tendons. Tendons make up your body connections. You see this? Those little tiny blocks are what the, the tendons are in these little blocks. And here's what the collagen fibers look like in these different colors. It means they have a different tensile strength, a different makeup of chemistry. And that's why the spectroscopy now, we can see everything and tell how much of this stuff is compared to the blue, to the yellow, and so forth. And it may, you know, there's a million things we can do now with spectroscopy and understanding dipole electron flood theory and the chemistry of the body. All right, so this is microscopic shots of tendons and how small these fibers are. And that's, and they, they have virtually no biology to them. They're, they're structural. They're like a really strong, tight rubber band. And they can just do this and that. And they don't require any substance, you know, blood to speak of. And that's why they last virtually forever. And the chemistry is exactly what I say. Silicate minerals. Naturally occurring silica complex crystal structures. Yes, there they are right there. Two main groups, serpentine and hydrated magnesium silicates. Hydrated means they absorb water. A group of double chain silicates. This is exactly what the, they are. That's asbestos. Asbestos minerals are silicates. All right, that's what... That's what mud fossils did. They incorporate a lot of silicon, and in the case of the um, tendons, they virtually, the littlest ones, became almost totally silicates. I call them platy polar silicates. 
hydrated, meaning they water chemically incorporated into their structure. And here it is. They also have some magnesium, some iron, some calcium into their structure, influences the properties of each type of asbestos. There's all kinds of different tendon in your body, same thing. And this is the magnesium, silicon, silicon, oxygen. This is exactly what your t membranes and these, these high, um, the um, collagens and carrageens are made out of. They're right here. You see the phosphorus? Phosphorus is where your membranes are. Then you've got sulfur, then it breaks down to silicon, aluminum, and magnesium. Now this is showing silicon and magnesium, but originally all that stuff started out from more or less phosphorus, which is in your membranes, or it's, it's part of that group, let's put it that way. I don't see them showing anything about phosphorus here, but let me just check something. All right, here's what the story is on asbestos. All asbestos contain silicon dioxide. Some asbestos contain aluminum oxides, but they claim it's a trace component, and it's only in specific types, and I agree with that. Well, what creates silicon dioxide? It's when phosphorus becomes attacked by oxygens and breaks down to silicon with extra oxygens on it, so it becomes silicon dioxide. Now, it can also attach to aluminum during that breakdown, so you have aluminum silicon dioxide or aluminum, aluminum with three oxygens, and you can also add to magnesium. But this is the type of biology breakdown of the, that's created this asbestos. Okay, I apologize for not remembering who sent that to me, but I, I sent back that it was tendon, and then that washes it off of the board so I can't see it anymore. But this is, the tendon is what it is, and it becomes asbestos. And it's, it's so tough, it just never goes bad. It just it doesn't disintegrate. That's why they get asbestosis, and all these fibers, are, they're so fine. They're in the billions of a meter, way in the low billionths of a meter, thousands of them within a billionth of a meter. So they're very, very tiny, and they are in tendon. And there's different types of tendons. There's a ponderosus tendon, and there's rope-style tendons, and there's all kinds of little, little investments in your skin and all that stuff that they really I don't know if they have classifications for them or not, but they are there. They're all over your body, everywhere. And they attach to these little things.